everybody, and welcome back to another 12-minute Bible journaling entry. Today, we're going to make some fun, funky, abstract flowers. I'm just using plain craft acrylic paint. Um, the key to this is to try to keep your make it more of a dry brushing technique. Um, not only will it allow your paint to dry faster so that you can add more layers, um, it also just saves you time from having to clean your brush off a lot in between each color. So I'm just starting with a color right now that's called um, a Watermelon Slice. It's one of my favorite ones from Americana. So I'm just doing just a dry brush around the edges to kind of give it a halo effect and make my, my flowers a little, little poofier. Um, I also have a paper towel on the side that I'm just wiping the excess off. And you're going to see, I'm just going to keep taking my, um, my dark red watermelon slice and then my other two colors and just continue just to kind of add little swipes of color. Um, I'm not blending them, I'm just allowing them to kind of um, hang out on their own and create that illusion of depth. I'm also adding a color called Color Shift, or it's from Folk Art. Um, this is Pink Flash. Um, just to add a little more darkness and to add a little shimmer to the finished product. And then you see, I'm just going to add some, some bright green, I guess they would be stalks, stems, branches whatever you want to call them. Um, this is actually one of my favorite Americana colors called Citron Green. And then I'm just going to add just a little bit of a darker green onto that just to give that little bit of illusion of depth um, and that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to be super precise. I'm not trying to make it super realistic. I'm just kind of having fun with some abstract uh, art today. I'm adding just some funky leaves and again adding that darker green to make it pop and give just a little bit of illusion of depth there. And you can see I'm kind of overlapping them just a little bit so they kind of look like there's a little bit of depth in the front and depth in the back. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit more of that same color shift and this time in one called green flash. And it's more just for fun, just to add just another element of texture quickly without having to do a whole lot. And what am I looking for now? Oh, so I decided, I'm like, what am I looking for? That was my head. Um, I decided I wanted to add some color to my background and without having to dig out some other form of medium, I just grabbed some yellow paint, um, just some plain yellow acrylic and watered it down a lot. Um, and just using that just to quickly add color to my background. And that way I'm getting that great background um, saturation of color without obscuring my words. And my timer's going, so you can see we've got about three minutes left. Um, I'm also going to add just a little bit of that green to the background just to add that shimmer and add just depth in a couple little places. Nothing crazy. Um, just kind of changing things up a little bit in the background. And then because I know I'm running out of time, I'm just applying a paper towel to it just to soak up any big chunks of water that might still be on there. And now I'm just going to grab my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen with a brush tip. It is, let me grab it real quick, it is, what's the color, Raw Umber 180. And I'm just using that just to add a little bit more depth. Um, I'm really only hitting the spots that already have that dark green just to accentuate and increase that depth perception um, or depth perspective on that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my um, flowers, just adding a little bit more depth with pink carmine. Is that what that says? Yes, it does. I expected it to say something red. And then I'm also um, underlining my verse. You can see that I stopped my uh, timer. Um, so because of COVID, I am sharing my office space with hubby. And he was in the middle of a phone call. And so I couldn't let the timer go off. So I also added just a little title. And I was done. I hope you enjoyed today's project. And I look forward to the next 12-minute Bible journaling with you.